So you've created a business manager, verified the website domain, created a Facebook pixel, and you want to know the most ideal place to install the pixel code to run custom conversions. What if you could be more specific to where you want the pixel code installed on other than the entire website? So in this video, I'll be showing you how I install the pixel code to my website for each of my custom conversion ad campaigns. So let's get started. Now I'll be assuming you've already created a Facebook pixel because there's certainly no need creating another if you already have one. What I would advise you to do instead would be removing the piece of code from the entire website and if you remember we did that using a plugin. Now we can just head back to our website backend, hover over settings and then select insert headers and footers. That's the plugin we installed in the previous video to enable us install the pixel code. Now I will just highlight all of this starting from this line pointing where the code starts all the way to the bottom and let's cut this out. And I'll just scroll down to save this. All right, so now it's important you've already created a thank you page on your website because that's where we'll be installing the pixel code on. So in summary, the thank you page is where your visitors, leads or clients land on right after filling out or submitting a form in the sales funnel. It's more like the last step in most conversion process. Now, just before we move forward, in case you haven't watched the previous video on pixel setup and installation, and you would like to know where the pixel code is at, after you must have created it. Let's head over to the events manager, select the right pixel, and right here, select add event from a new website. And that should prompt this pop-up. So just click on install code manually, and that should bring us back to this page. Now, all you need to do is click on install base code, and we should see our code right here. So I'm just gonna click on copy code, head back to our website, head on to pages, and from here, I want to open up the thank you page. Since I've got my website built with Elementor, I will just select Edit with Elementor. And this should work regardless of the page builder you're using. So whatever page builder you might be using, you can just open up the thank you page with that. Now, once that loads up, let's search for the widget HTML. And like I said, this applies to the page builder you might be using as well. So I'll just drag this into the header section of this page. And now let's paste the code we just copied into this field and then click on update to save this. All right, let's check to see if this has been installed only on the thank you page other than the entire website. I can just open up a new tab and search for my website URL. And once that comes up, I would select the pixel helper to see if the pixel code is installed on the home page. And we can see this isn't installed here. Since our focus is on the thank you page, I can just put in a forward slash thank you and search. Once that loads up, we should definitely see the pixel code on here and we can see it's fired. So that's pretty much how to go about that. Now, this is what I've been doing for quite some months now and my conversion rate has been great so far. I might be wrong, but then with this, I believe the pixel code becomes more laser focused on getting more and more ideal clients to land on the thank you page, which automatically counts as a sale or lead when you run custom conversions. And that's all for this video. If you'd like to learn how I create custom conversion in the events manager without hassle, you can tune in by subscribing to the channel. Also, I really appreciate if you hit the like button to help this video reach out to more persons. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.